Hey guys, welcome to this tutorial. Someone on my Discord requested a tutorial on how to drop weapons, so I decided to include that in this series. If you have requests for videos you can ask me on Discord, the link will be in the description. Now let's go into the tutorial. So first we need a prefab for the model that we are going to drop. So let's select our M4 and let's Ctrl C and Ctrl V and let's drag it out. Let's rename it to M4 A1. We can delete the weapon controller from it. Let's move it front so you can see it. Here it is. It also doesn't need a spam bullet point. We can delete that and the particle effect. Now we'll be needing to add a rigid body. and a box collider that is trigger. Let's resize it so it fits the weapon. Like so. And now we'll select our models, every single one that's inside, and we'll be adding a mesh collider, convex like so. Now if you press play, it should just fall down. And we can drag it to our prefabs folder, original prefab. So now we have our prefab, so now let's implement a script to drop it. First, we need to remove the weapon controller from our M4 and place it in our hands. So we can simply click on these three dots and copy the component. And we can paste it here. Paste component has new. And here we have it. And you can remove it from here now. You press play. Everything should work fine still. There you go. Moving on, we need to open our script. So in our weapon controller, we need to create a few variables. Let's start with a serializable field. Game object, M4A1. Prefab. That will be our model to drop. We need a bool. I will name it, we have weapon. It's equal to true, because we start with a weapon. We also need a serializable field, game object. Uh, I'll call it our m 4 one This will be the M4 we have in our view, that we hold. And for now that should be it. Now let's go down here and create a new function inside our update function. Let me increase the size of the font. So if input dot get key down key code dot g will be dropping the weapon. Now let's create this function down here void drop weapon like so okay let's start by creating new instance of our object so game object we'll name it weapon dropped is equal to instantiate our m4a1 prefab and it will spawn in the same place that our M4 is. Now weapon dropped dot transfer dot set parent null so it doesn't have a, a parent. Our weapon dropped dot transform dot local scale is equal to a new vector tree 
10, 10, 10, 10. This line here, I will comment it, comment it for now and I'll explain to you later why we need it. You can leave it comment for now. And our weapon dropped dot get component rigid body will be adding a force in the direction transform dot forward times let's say let's create a new variable so we can play with it let's create uh, serializable field bool drop force by default I'll say 400 not pool, sorry, float. My bad. And drop force, like so. Now, can shoot equals false, because we don't have a weapon. Has ammo equals false. Total ammo. Let's give it a value of minus one. I'll explain you why later. Bullets in magazine. Also, minus one. Magazine capacity equals zero. And we also need, we have weapon equals false. And our M4A1 set active false. So we don't have any weapon in our hands. Let's just go up here and Input get key down and let's add we have a weapon. So we can only drop if we have a weapon. If you don't, you, you can drop anymore, otherwise, you'll be spamming weapons everywhere. So let's save that. Now let's open our UI controller and let's add this line here. So if ammo in magazine equals minus one and Total ammo equals minus one. Our ammo text is equal to, I'll just call it an A, not available. You can write whatever you want. Otherwise, it writes it normally. That's why we set it to minus one. So it appears a different text when we don't have a weapon. If it will be zero, it will write just zero here. So let's try it out. Let's play it. Right, don't forget to drag the object. Our prefab, here it is, M4A1, to our M4 prefab, and drag our M4 to our M4 variable. Like so. Now it should work. We can shoot and we drop the weapon. But as you can see, the weapon is like really, really, really tiny. That's because uh, the model is the scale is zero. Sorry, not this one. Let me drag it here. Because the scale is 0 0.01, and then the models inside are 100 scale. Uh, if you have a normal model, this won't be a problem for you, but if you are using this one that I created, like, and it's bad in my opinion, yeah, I need to fix a lot of stuff here. It was my first model that I created, but yeah, uh, to fix that, that's what I was saying. You need to go to weapon controller and write this line, so it sets the scale to 10. That will fix it. So if you now save it, and you try again. Okay, I still need to fix one thing, wait a second. Let's select our prefab here. And let's give it a scale of 10, 10, 10 and everything inside a scale of 1 yeah, not this one, sorry, my bad don't forget to select it and here, where it says overrides 
click and apply all. So we change our prefab. Can delete this here. Now it should be fine. Yeah, there you go. As you can see, it's fine. We can drop it. Now on the next video, I'm going to show you how we can pick it up. But so the video doesn't get too long, I will. It will be another part. So yeah, that was it for this video. Uh, I'll see you on the next one.